Arizona listen, Navajo, who's do ha hoodzo Navajo pronunciation, XO grave za tu XXO grave so, Oadam, Ali Sonic UTO is Tekken pronunciation, I Onak is a U.S. state in the southwestern region of the United States. It is also part of the western and the mountain states. It is the sixth largest and the fourteenth most populous of the fifty states. Its capital and largest city is Phoenix. Arizona, one of the Four Corners states, is bordered by New Mexico to the east, Utah to the north, Nevada and California to the west, and Mexico to the south, as well as the southwestern corner of Colorado. Arizona's border with Mexico is 389 miles 626 kilometers long, on the northern border of the Mexican states of Sonora and Baja California. Arizona is the 48th state and last of the contiguous states to be admitted to the Union, achieving statehood on February 14, 1912, coinciding with Valentine's Day. Historically part of the territory of Alta California in New Spain, it became part of independent Mexico in 1821. After being defeated in the Mexican-American War, Mexico ceded much of this territory to the United States in 1848. The southernmost portion of the state was acquired in 1853 through the Gadsden Purchase. Southern Arizona is known for its desert climate, with very hot summers and mild winters. Northern Arizona features forests of pine, Douglas fir, and spruce trees, the Colorado Plateau, some mountain ranges such as the San Francisco Mountains, as well as large, deep canyons, with much more moderate summer temperatures and significant winter snowfalls. There are ski resorts in the areas of Flagstaff, Alpine, and Tucson. In addition to the Grand Canyon National Park, there are several national forests, national parks, and national monuments. About one quarter of the state is made up of Indian reservations that serve as the home of 27 federally recognized Native American tribes, including the Navajo Nation, the largest in the state and the United States, with more than 300,000 citizens. Although federal law gave all Native Americans the right to vote in 1924, Arizona excluded those living on reservations in the state from voting until the state Supreme Court ruled in favor of Native American plaintiffs in Trujillo v. Garley Etymology <inaudible> 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 The state's name appears to originate from an earlier Spanish name, Arizonic, derived from the Oadam name Ali Sonic, meaning, small spring, which initially applied only to an area near the silver mining camp of Planchas de Plata, Sonora. To the European settlers, their pronunciation sounded like, Arizona. The area is still known as Ali Sonic in the Oadam language. Another possible origin is the Basque phrase Herat's Ona, the good oak. As there were numerous Basque sheepherders in the area, there is a misconception that the state's name originated from the Spanish term arida zona, arid zone. Topic: History. For thousands of years before the modern era, Arizona was home to numerous Native American tribes. Hohokam, Mogollon, and ancestral Puebloan cultures were among the many that flourished throughout the state. Many of their pueblos, cliffside dwellings, rock paintings and other prehistoric treasures have survived, attracting thousands of tourists each year. The first European contact by native peoples was with Marcos de Niza, a Spanish Franciscan, in 1539. He explored parts of the present state and made contact with native inhabitants, probably the Sobipori. The expedition of Spanish explorer Coronado entered the area in 1540-1542 during its search for Cibola. Few Spanish settlers migrated to Arizona. One of the first settlers in Arizona was José Romo de Vivar. Father Quino was the next European in the region. A member of the Society of Jesus, Jesuits, he led the development of a chain of missions in the region. He converted many of the Indians to Christianity in the Pomeria Alta now southern Arizona and northern Sonora in the 1690s and early 18th century. Spain founded presidios, fortified towns at Tubac in 1752 and Tucson in 1775. When Mexico achieved its independence from the Kingdom of Spain and its Spanish Empire in 1821, what is now Arizona became part of its territory of Nueva California, New California, also known as Alta California, Upper California. Descendants of ethnic Spanish and mestizo settlers from the colonial years still lived in the area at the time of the arrival of later European-American migrants from the United States. 
During the Mexican-American War 1847 the U.S. Army occupied the national capital of Mexico City and pursued its claim to much of northern Mexico, including what later became Arizona Territory in 1863 and later the state of Arizona in 1912. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo 1848 specified that, in addition to language and cultural rights of the existing inhabitants of former Mexican citizens being considered as inviolable, the sum of $15 million in compensation equivalent to $424,269,230.77 in 2017, be paid to the Republic of Mexico. In 1853, the U.S. acquired the land south below the Gila River from Mexico in the Gadsden Purchase along the southern border area as encompassing the best future southern route for a transcontinental railway. What is now known as the State of Arizona was initially administered by the United States government as part of the Territory of New Mexico until the southern part of that region seceded from the Union to form the Territory of Arizona. This newly established territory was formally organized by the Confederate States government on Saturday, January 18, 1862, when President Jefferson Davis approved and signed an act to organize the Territory of Arizona, marking the first official use of the name, Territory of Arizona. The Southern Territory supplied the Confederate government with men, horses, and equipment. Formed in 1862, Arizona Scout Companies served with the Confederate States Army during the Civil War. Arizona has the westernmost military engagement on record during the Civil War with the Battle of Picacho Pass. The federal government declared a new U.S. Arizona Territory, consisting of the western half of earlier New Mexico Territory, in Washington, D.C., on February 24, 1863. These new boundaries would later form the basis of the state. The first territorial capital, Prescott, was founded in 1864 following a gold rush to central Arizona, although names including Gadsonia, Pomeria, Montezuma, and Arizuma had been considered for the territory. When 16th President Abraham Lincoln signed the final bill, it read, Arizona, and that name was adopted. Montezuma was not derived from the Aztec emperor, but was the sacred name of a divine hero to the Pima people of the Gila River Valley. It was probably considered—and rejected—for its sentimental value before Congress settled on the name, Arizona. Brigham Young, patriarchal leader of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Salt Lake City in Utah, sent Mormons to Arizona in the mid to late 19th century. They founded Mesa, Snowflake, Eber, Safford, and other towns. They also settled in the Phoenix Valley or Valley of the Sun, Tempe, Prescott, and other areas. The Mormons settled what became northern Arizona and northern New Mexico. At the time these areas were located in a part of the former New Mexico Territory. 20th century to present During the Mexican Revolution from 1910 to 1920, several battles were fought in the Mexican towns just across the border from Arizona settlements. Throughout the revolution, numerous Arizonans enlisted in one of the several armies fighting in Mexico. Only two significant engagements took place on U.S. soil between U.S. and Mexican forces, Pancho Villa's 1916 Columbus Raid in New Mexico, and the Battle of Ambos Nogales in 1918 in Arizona. The Americans won the latter. After U.S. soldiers were fired on by Mexican federal troops, the American garrison launched an assault into Nogales, Mexico. The Mexicans eventually surrendered after both sides sustained heavy casualties. A few months earlier, just west of Nogales, an Indian War battle had occurred, considered the last engagement in the American Indian Wars, which lasted from 1775 to 1918. U.S. soldiers stationed on the border confronted Yaqui Indians who were using Arizona as a base to raid the nearby Mexican settlements, as part of their wars against Mexico. Arizona became a U.S. state on February 14, 1912. Arizona was the 48th state admitted to the U.S. and the last of the contiguous states to be admitted. Cotton farming and copper mining, two of Arizona's most important statewide industries, suffered heavily during the Great Depression. But during the 1920s and even the 1930s, tourism began to develop as the important Arizonan industry it is today. Dude ranches, such as the K.L. Bar and Ramuda in Wickenburg, along with the Flying V and Tonk Verde in Tucson, gave tourists the chance to take part in the flavor and activities of the Old West, 
Several upscale hotels and resorts opened during this period, some of which are still top tourist draws. They include the Arizona Biltmore Hotel in Central Phoenix opened 1929 and the Wigwam Resort on the west side of the Phoenix area opened 1936. Arizona was the site of German POW camps during World War II and Japanese-American internment camps. Because of wartime fears of Japanese invasion of the West Coast, the government authorized the removal of all Japanese-American residents from western Washington, western Oregon, all of California, and western Arizona. From 1942 to 1945, they were forced to reside in internment camps built in the interior of the country. Many lost their homes and businesses in the process. The camps were abolished after World War II. The Phoenix area German POW site was purchased after the war by the Maytag family of major home appliance fame. It was developed as the site of the Phoenix Zoo. A Japanese-American internment camp was located on Mount Lemon, just outside the state's southeastern city of Tucson. Another POW camp was located near the Gila River in eastern Yuma County. Arizona was also home to the Phoenix Indian School, one of several federal Indian boarding schools designed to assimilate Native American children into mainstream European American culture. Children were often enrolled into these schools against the wishes of their parents and families. Attempts to suppress native identities included forcing the children to cut their hair, to take and use English names, to speak only English, and to practice Christianity rather than their native religions. Numerous Native Americans from Arizona fought for the United States during World War II. Their experiences resulted in a rising activism in the post war years to achieve better treatment and civil rights after their return to the state. After Maricopa County did not allow them to register to vote, in 1948 veteran Frank Harrison and Harry Austin, of the Mojave Apache tribe at Fort McDowell Indian Reservation, brought a legal suit, Harrison and Austin v. Levine, to challenge this exclusion. The Arizona Supreme Court ruled in their favor. Arizona's population grew tremendously with residential and business development after World War II, aided by the widespread use of air conditioning, which made the intensely hot summers more comfortable. According to the Arizona Blue Book, published by the Arizona Secretary of State's office each year, the state population in 1910 was 294,353. By 1970, it was 1,752,122. The percentage growth each decade averaged about 20% in the earlier decades, and about 60% each decade thereafter. In the 1960s, retirement communities were developed. These were special age restricted subdivisions catering exclusively to the needs of senior citizens. They attracted many retirees who wanted to escape the harsh winters of the Midwest and the Northeast. Sun City, established by developer Del Webb and opened in 1960, was one of the first such communities. Green Valley, south of Tucson, was another such community, designed as a retirement subdivision for Arizona's teachers. Many senior citizens from across the U.S. and Canada come to Arizona each winter and stay only during the winter months, they are referred to as snowbirds. In March 2000, Arizona was the site of the first legally binding election ever held over the Internet to nominate a candidate for public office. In the 2000 Arizona Democratic primary, under worldwide attention, Al Gore defeated Bill Bradley. Voter turnout in this state primary increased more than 500% over the 1996 primary. Three ships named USS Arizona have been christened in honor of the state, although only USS Arizona BB39 was so named after statehood was achieved. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography and Geology. See also lists of counties, islands, rivers, lakes, state parks, national parks, national forests, and volcanic craters. Arizona is in the southwestern United States as one of the Four Corners states. Arizona is the sixth largest state by area, ranked after New Mexico and before Nevada. Of the state's 113,998 square miles, 295,000 square kilometers, approximately 15% is privately owned. The remaining area is public forest and park land, state trust land and Native American reservations. Arizona is well known for its desert basin and range region in the state's southern portions, which is rich in a landscape of xerophyte plants such as the cactus. This region's topography was shaped by prehistoric volcanism, followed by the cooling off and related subsidence. Its climate has exceptionally hot summers and mild winters. 
The state is less well known for its pine-covered north-central portion of the high country of the Colorado Plateau see Arizona Mountains Forests. Like other states of the southwest United States, Arizona has an abundance of mountains and plateaus. Despite the state's aridity, 27% of Arizona is forest, a percentage comparable to modern-day France or Germany. The world's largest stand of ponderosa pine trees is in Arizona, the Mogollon Rim, a 1,998-foot escarpment, cuts across the state's central section and marks the southwestern edge of the Colorado Plateau. In 2002, this was an area of the Rodeo Chetuskai Fire, the worst fire in state history. Located in northern Arizona, the Grand Canyon is a colorful, deep, steep-sided gorge, carved by the Colorado River. The canyon is one of the seven natural wonders of the world and is largely contained in the Grand Canyon National Park—one of the first national parks in the United States. President Theodore Roosevelt was a major proponent of designating the Grand Canyon area as a national park, often visiting to hunt mountain lion and enjoy the scenery. The canyon was created by the Colorado River cutting a channel over millions of years, and is about 277 miles 446 kilometers long, ranges in width from 4 to 18 miles 6 to 29 kilometers and attains a depth of more than 1 mile 1 kilometers. Nearly 2 billion years of the Earth's history have been exposed as the Colorado River and its tributaries cut through layer after layer of sediment as the Colorado Plateau uplifted. Arizona is home to one of the most well-preserved meteorite impact sites in the world. Created around 50,000 years ago, the Beringer Meteorite Crater better known simply as Meteor Crater is a gigantic hole in the middle of the high plains of the Colorado Plateau, about 25 miles 40 kilometers west of Winslow. A rim of smashed and jumbled boulders, some of them the size of small houses, rises 150 feet 46 meters above the level of the surrounding plain. The crater itself is nearly 1 mile 1 kilometers wide, and 570 feet 170 meters deep. Arizona is one of two U.S. states that does not observe daylight saving time the other being Hawaii. The exception is within the large Navajo Nation which observes daylight saving time, in the state's northeastern region. Earthquakes <inaudible> 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 Generally, Arizona is at low risk of earthquakes, except for the southwestern portion which is at moderate risk due to its proximity to Southern California. On the other hand, northern Arizona is at moderate risk due to numerous faults in the area. The regions near and west of Phoenix have the lowest risk. The earliest Arizona earthquakes were recorded at Fort Yuma, on the California side of the Colorado River. They were centered near the Imperial Valley, or Mexico, back in the 1800s. Residents in Douglas felt the 1887 Sonora earthquake with its epicenter 40 miles to the south in the Mexican state of Sonora. The first damaging earthquake known to be centered within Arizona occurred on January 25, 1906, also including a series of other earthquakes centered near Socorro, New Mexico. The shock was violent in Flagstaff. In September 1910, a series of 52 earthquakes caused a construction crew near Flagstaff to leave the area. In 1912, the year Arizona achieved statehood, on August 18, an earthquake caused a 50-mile crack in the San Francisco Range. In early January 1935, the state experienced a series of earthquakes, in the Yuma area and near the Grand Canyon. Arizona experienced its largest earthquake in 1959, with a tremor of a magnitude 5.6. It was centered near Fredonia, in the state's northwest near the border with Utah. The tremor was felt across the border in Nevada and Utah. Topic: <inaudible> Adjacent states. Utah North, Colorado Northeast, Nevada Northwest, Sonora Mexico South, Baja California Mexico Southwest, New Mexico East, California West. Climate Due to its large area and variations in elevation, the state has a wide variety of localized climate conditions. In the lower elevations, the climate is primarily desert, with mild winters and extremely hot summers. Typically, from late fall to early spring, the weather is mild, averaging a minimum of 60 degrees Fahrenheit 16 degrees Celsius. 
November through February are the coldest months, with temperatures typically ranging from 40 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 to 24 degrees Celsius, with occasional frosts. About midway through February, the temperatures start to rise, with warm days and cool, breezy nights. The summer months of June through September bring a dry heat from 90 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 to 49 degrees Celsius, with occasional high temperatures exceeding 125 degrees Fahrenheit, 52 degrees Celsius, having been observed in the desert area. Arizona's all-time record high is 128 degrees Fahrenheit, 53 degrees Celsius, recorded at Lake Havasu City on June 29, 1994, and July 5, 2007. The all-time record low of -40 degrees Fahrenheit, -40 degrees Celsius, was recorded at Holly Lake on January 7, 1971. Due to the primarily dry climate, large diurnal temperature variations occur in less developed areas of the desert above 2,500 feet meters. The swings can be as large as 83 degrees Fahrenheit 46 degrees Celsius in the summer months. In the state's urban centers, the effects of local warming result in much higher measured nighttime lows than in the recent past. Arizona has an average annual rainfall of 12.7 and 323 mm, which comes during two rainy seasons, with cold fronts coming from the Pacific Ocean during the winter and a monsoon in the summer. The monsoon season occurs toward the end of summer. In July or August, the dew point rises dramatically for a brief period. During this time, the air contains large amounts of water vapor. Dew points as high as 81 degrees Fahrenheit 27 degrees Celsius have been recorded during the Phoenix monsoon season. This hot moisture brings lightning, thunderstorms, wind, and torrential, if usually brief, downpours. These downpours often cause flash floods, which can turn deadly. In an attempt to deter drivers from crossing flooding streams, the Arizona legislature enacted the stupid motorist law. It is rare for tornadoes or hurricanes to occur in Arizona. Arizona's northern third is a plateau at significantly higher altitudes than the lower desert, and has an appreciably cooler climate, with cold winters and mild summers, though the climate remains semi-arid to arid. Extremely cold temperatures are not unknown. Cold air systems from the northern states and Canada occasionally push into the state, bringing temperatures below 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 18 degrees Celsius to the state's northern parts. Indicative of the variation in climate, Arizona is the state which has both the metropolitan area with the most days over 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius Phoenix, and the metropolitan area in the lower 48 states with the most days with a low temperature below freezing Flagstaff. Demographics The United States Census Bureau estimates that the population of Arizona was 7,016,270 on July 1, 2017, a 9.8% increase since the 2010 United States Census. Arizona remained sparsely settled for most of the 19th century. The 1860 census reported the population of Arizona County to be 6,482, of whom 4,040 were listed as Indians, 21 as free colored and 2421 as white arizona's continued population growth puts an enormous stress on the state's water supply as of 2011 61.3% of arizona's children under the age of 1 belong to minority groups the population of metropolitan phoenix increased by 45.3% from 1991 through 2001 helping to make arizona the second fastest growing state in the us in the 1990s the fastest was nevada as of july 2017 the population of the phoenix area is estimated to be over 4.7 million According to the 2010 United States Census, Arizona had a population of 6,392,017. In 2010, illegal immigrants constituted an estimated 7.9% of the population. This was the second highest percentage of any state in the U.S. Metropolitan Phoenix 4.7 million and Tucson 1 million are home to about five-sixths of Arizona's people, as of the 2010 census. Metro Phoenix alone accounts for two-thirds of the state's population. Race and ethnicity 
In 1980, the Census Bureau reported Arizona's population as 16.2% Hispanic, 5.6% Native American, and 74.5% non-Hispanic white. In 2010, the racial makeup of the state was 73.0% white, 4.6% Native American and Alaska Native, 4.1% Black or African American, 2.8% Asian, 0.2% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 11.9% from some other race, 3.4% from two or more races. Hispanics or Latinos of any race made up 29.6% of the state's population. Non Hispanic whites formed 57.8% of the total population. Arizona's five largest ancestry groups, as of 2009, were Mexican 27.4% German 16.0% Irish 10.8% English 10.1% Italian 4.6% Topic Languages As of 2010, 72.90% 4,215,749 of Arizona residents age 5 and older spoke English at home as a primary language, while 20.80% 1,202,638 spoke Spanish, 1.48% Navajo, 0.39% German, 0.39% 26 Chinese which includes Mandarin 0.33% Tagalog 0.30% Vietnamese 0.27% other North American indigenous languages especially indigenous languages of Arizona and French was spoken as a main language by 0.26% of the population over the age of 5 in total, 27.10% of Arizona's population age 5 and older spoke a mother language other than English. Arizona is home to the largest number of speakers of Native American languages in the 48 contiguous states, as over 85,000 individuals reported speaking Navajo, and 10,403 people reported Apache, as a language spoken at home in 2005. Arizona's Apache County has the highest concentration of speakers of Native American Indian languages in the United States. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Cities and towns. Phoenix, located in Maricopa County, is the capital and the largest city in Arizona. Other prominent cities in the Phoenix metro area include Mesa, the third largest city in Arizona, Chandler, the fourth largest city in Arizona, Glendale, Peoria, Buckeye, Sun City, Sun City West, Fountain Hills, Surprise, Gilbert, El Mirage, Avondale, Tempe, Tolleson and Scottsdale, with a total metropolitan population of just over 4.3 million. The average high temperature in July, 106 degrees Fahrenheit 41 degrees Celsius, is one of the highest of any metropolitan area in the United States, offset by an average January high temperature of 67 degrees Fahrenheit 19 degrees Celsius, the basis of its winter appeal. Tucson, with a metro population of just over 1 million, is the state's second largest city. It is located in Pima County, approximately 110 miles 180 kilometers southeast of Phoenix. Tucson was incorporated in 1877, making it the oldest incorporated city in Arizona. It is home to the University of Arizona. Major incorporated suburbs of Tucson include Oro Valley and Marana northwest of the city, Sawarita south of the city, and South Tucson in an enclave south of downtown. It has an average July temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius and winter temperatures averaging 65 degrees Fahrenheit 18 degrees Celsius. Saguaro National Park, just west of the city in the Tucson Mountains, is the locale of the largest collection of saguaro cacti in the world. The Prescott metropolitan area includes the cities of Prescott, Cottonwood, Camp Verde and numerous other towns spread out over the 8,123 square miles 21,000 square kilometers of Yavapai County area. 
With 212,635 residents, this cluster of towns forms the third largest metropolitan area in the state. The city of Prescott population lies approximately 100 miles 160 kilometers northwest of the Phoenix metropolitan area. Situated in pine tree forests at an elevation of about 5,500 feet 1, meters, Prescott enjoys a much cooler climate than Phoenix, with average summer highs around 88 degrees Fahrenheit 31 degrees Celsius and winter temperatures averaging 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. Yuma is center of the fourth largest metropolitan area in Arizona. Located in Yuma County, it is near the borders of California and Mexico. It is one of the hottest cities in the United States, with an average July high of 107 degrees Fahrenheit 42 degrees Celsius. The same month's average in Death Valley is 115 degrees Fahrenheit 46 degrees Celsius. The city features sunny days about 90% of the year. The Yuma Metropolitan Statistical Area has a population of 160,000. Yuma attracts many winter visitors from all over the United States. Flagstaff, in Coconino County, is the largest city in northern Arizona, and is at an elevation of nearly 7,000 feet 2, meters. With its large ponderosa pine forests, snowy winter weather and picturesque mountains, it is a stark contrast to the desert regions typically associated with Arizona. It is sited at the base of the San Francisco Peaks, the highest mountain range in the state of Arizona, which contain Humphreys Peak, the highest point in Arizona at 12,633 feet 3,851 meters. Flagstaff has a strong tourism sector, due to its proximity to numerous tourist attractions including, Grand Canyon National Park, Sedona, and Oak Creek Canyon. Historic U.S. Route 66 is the main east-west street in the town. The Flagstaff metropolitan area is home to 134,421 residents and the main campus of Northern Arizona University. Lake Havasu City, in Mojave County, known as Arizona's Playground, was developed on the Colorado River and is named after Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu City has a population of about 53,000 people. It is famous for huge spring break parties, sunsets, and the London Bridge, relocated from London, England. Lake Havasu City was founded by real estate developer Robert P. McCulloch in 1963. It has two colleges, Mojave Community College and ASU Colleges in Lake Havasu City. Religion As of the year 2010, the Association of Religion Data Archives reported that the three largest denominational groups in Arizona were the Catholic Church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and non-denominational evangelical Protestants. The Catholic Church has the highest number of adherents in Arizona at 930,001, followed by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 410,263 members reported and then non-denominational evangelical Protestants, reporting 281,105 adherents. The religious body with the largest number of congregations is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 836 congregations followed by the Southern Baptist Convention with 323 congregations. According to the Association of Religion Data Archives, the 15 largest denominations by number of adherents in 2010 and 2000 were Regarding non-Christian denominations, Hinduism became the largest non-Christian religion when combining all denominations in 2010, with over 32,000 adherents in several denominations, followed by Judaism with over 20,000 in three denominations, and Buddhism with over 19,000 adherents in several denominations. Economy <inaudible> <inaudible> The 2011 total gross state product was $259 billion. This figure gives Arizona a larger economy than such countries as Ireland, Finland, and New Zealand. The composition of the state's economy is moderately diverse, although health care, transportation and the government remain the largest sectors. The state's per capita income is $40,828, ranking 39th in the U.S. The state had a median household income of $50,448, making it 22nd in the country and just below the U.S. national mean. Early in its history, Arizona's economy relied on the five C's 
Copper see copper mining in Arizona, cotton, cattle, citrus, and climate tourism. Copper is still extensively mined from many expansive open pit and underground mines, accounting for two-thirds of the nation's output. Topic. Employment The state government is Arizona's largest employer, while Banner Health is the state's largest private employer, with over 39,000 employees 2016. As of March 2016, the state's unemployment rate was 5.4%. The top employment sectors in Arizona are August 2014, excludes agriculture. Topic. Largest employers According to the Arizona Republic, the largest private employers in the state as of 2016 were Topic. Taxation Arizona collects personal income taxes in five brackets, 2.59%, 2.88%, 3.36%, 4.24% 4.24%. The state transaction privilege tax is 5.6%, however, county and municipal sales taxes generally add an additional 2%. The state rate on transient lodging hotel, motel, is 7.27%. The state of Arizona does not levy a state tax on food for home consumption or on drugs prescribed by a licensed physician or dentist. However, some cities in Arizona do levy a tax on food for home consumption. All 15 Arizona counties levy a tax. Incorporated municipalities also levy transaction privilege taxes which, with the exception of their hotel, motel tax, are generally in the range of 1 to 3 percent. These added assessments could push the combined sales tax rate to as high as 10.7 percent. Transportation Highways <inaudible> 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 Interstate highways I-8, I-10, future I-11, I-15, I-17, I-19, I-40 U.S. routes U.S. 60, U.S. 64, U.S. 70, U.S. 89, U.S. 91, U.S. 93, U.S. 95, U.S. 160, U.S. 163, U.S. 180, U.S. 191 Main interstate routes include I-17, and I-19 traveling north-south, I-8, I-10, and I-40, traveling east-west, and a short stretch of I-15 traveling northeast-southwest through the extreme northwestern corner of the state. In addition, the various urban areas are served by complex networks of state routes and highways, such as the Loop 101, which is part of Phoenix's vast freeway system. Topic. Public transportation, Amtrak, and intercity bus The Phoenix and Tucson metropolitan areas are served by public bus transit systems. Yuma and Flagstaff also have public bus systems. Greyhound Lines serves Phoenix, Tucson, Flagstaff, Yuma, and several smaller communities statewide. A light rail system, called Valley Metro Rail, was completed in December 2008. It connects central Phoenix with the nearby cities of Mesa and Tempe. In Tucson, the Sun Link streetcar system travels through the downtown area, connecting the main University of Arizona campus with Mercado San Agustin on the western edge of downtown Tucson. Sun Link, loosely based on the Portland streetcar, launched in July 2014. Amtrak Southwest Chief Route serves the northern part of the state, stopping at Winslow, Flagstaff, Williams, and Kingman. The Texas Eagle and Sunset Limited Route serves south central Arizona, stopping at Tucson, Maricopa, Yuma, and Benson. Phoenix lost Amtrak service in 1996 with the discontinuation of the Desert Wind, and now an Amtrak bus runs between Phoenix and the station in Maricopa. Topic. Aviation 
Airports with regularly scheduled commercial flights include, Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport IATA, PHX, ICAO, KPHX in Phoenix the largest airport and the major international airport in the state, Tucson International Airport IATA, TUS, ICAO, KTUS in Tucson, Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport IATA, AZA, ICAO, Kiwa in Mesa, Yuma International Airport IATA, Neal, ICAO, KNYL in Yuma, Prescott Municipal Airport PRC in Prescott, Flagstaff Pulliam Airport IATA, FLG, ICAO, KFLG in Flagstaff, and Grand Canyon National Park Airport IATA, GCN, ICAO, KGCN, FAA, GCN, a small, but busy, single runway facility providing tourist flights, mostly from Las Vegas. Phoenix Sky Harbor is currently 7th busiest airport in the world in terms of aircraft movements and 17th for passenger traffic. Other significant airports without regularly scheduled commercial flights include Scottsdale Municipal Airport IATA, SCF, ICAO, KSDL in Scottsdale and Deer Valley Airport IATA, DVT, ICAO, KDVT, FAA, DVT, home to two flight training academies and the nation's busiest general aviation airport. Law and government Topic. Capital complex The state capital of Arizona is Phoenix. The original capital building, with its distinctive copper dome, was dedicated in 1901 construction was completed for $136,000 in 1900, when the area was still a territory. Phoenix became the official state capital with Arizona's admission to the Union in 1912. The House of Representatives and Senate buildings were dedicated in 1960, and an Executive Office building was dedicated in 1974 the ninth floor of this building is where the office of the governor is located. The original Capitol building was converted into a museum. The Capitol complex is fronted and highlighted by the richly landscaped Wesley Bolin Memorial Plaza, named after Wesley Bolin, a governor who died in office in the 1970s. Numerous monuments and memorials are on the site, including the anchor and signal mast from the USS Arizona one of the U.S. Navy ships sunk in Pearl Harbor and a granite version of the Ten Commandments. Topic. State legislative branch The Arizona legislature is bicameral like the legislature of every other state except Nebraska and consists of a 30-member Senate and a 60-member House of Representatives. Each of the 30 legislative districts has one senator and two representatives. Legislators are elected for two-year terms. Each legislature covers a two-year period. The first session following the general election is known as the first regular session, and the session convening in the second year is known as the second regular session. Each regular session begins on the second Monday in January and adjourns sine die terminates for the year no later than Saturday of the week in which the 100th day from the beginning of the regular session falls. The President of the Senate and Speaker of the House, by rule, may extend the session up to seven additional days. Thereafter, the session can only be extended by a majority vote of members present of each House. The current majority party is the Republican Party, which has held power in both houses since 1993. Arizona state senators and representatives are elected for two-year terms and are limited to four consecutive terms in a chamber, though there is no limit on the total number of terms. When a lawmaker is term limited from office, it is not uncommon for him or her to run for election in the other chamber. The fiscal year 2006-07 general fund budget, approved by the Arizona legislature in June 2006, is slightly less than $10 billion. Besides the money spent on state agencies, it also includes more than $500 million in income and property tax cuts, pay raises for government employees, and additional funding for the K-12 education system. Topic: State executive branch. Arizona's executive branch is headed by a governor, who is elected to a four-year term. The governor may serve any number of terms, though no more than two in a row. Arizona is one of the few states that does not maintain a governor's mansion. During office the governors reside within their private residence, and all executive offices are housed in the executive tower at the state capitol. 
The current governor of Arizona is Doug Ducey R. Former Governor Jan Brewer assumed office after Janet Napolitano had her nomination by Barack Obama for Secretary of Homeland Security confirmed by the United States Senate. Arizona has had four female governors, more than any other state. Other elected executive officials include the Secretary of State, State Treasurer, State Attorney General, Superintendent of Public Instruction, State Mine Inspector and a five-member Corporation Commission. All elected officials hold a term of four years, and are limited to two consecutive terms except the Office of the State Mine Inspector, which is limited to four terms. Arizona is one of seven states that do not have a specified lieutenant governor. The Secretary of State is the first in line to succeed the governor in the event of death, disability, resignation, or removal from office. The line of succession also includes the Attorney General, State Treasurer and Superintendent of Public Instruction. Since 1977, four Secretaries of State and one Attorney General have risen to Arizona's governorship through these means. Topic. State judicial branch The Arizona Supreme Court is the highest court in Arizona. The court currently consists of one Chief Justice, a Vice Chief Justice, and three Associate Justices. Justices are appointed by the Governor from a list recommended by a bipartisan commission, and are re-elected after the initial two years following their appointment. Subsequent re-elections occur every six years. The Supreme Court has appellate jurisdiction in death penalty cases, but almost all other appellate cases go through the Arizona Court of Appeals beforehand. The court has original jurisdiction in a few other circumstances, as outlined in the state constitution. The court may also declare laws unconstitutional, but only while seated en banc. The court meets in the Arizona Supreme Court building at the Capitol Complex at the southern end of Wesley Bolin Plaza. The Arizona Court of Appeals, further divided into two divisions, is the intermediate court in the state. Division I is based in Phoenix, consists of 16 judges, and has jurisdiction in the western and northern regions of the state, along with the greater Phoenix area. Division II is based in Tucson, consists of six judges, and has jurisdiction over the southern regions of the state, including the Tucson area. Judges are selected in a method similar to the one used for state Supreme Court justices. Each county of Arizona has a superior court, the size and organization of which are varied and generally depend on the size of the particular county. Topic. Counties Arizona is divided into political jurisdictions designated as counties. There are 15 counties in the state, ranging in size from 1238 square miles, 3210 square kilometers to 18661 square miles, 48330 square kilometers. Topic: Federal Representation. Arizona's two United States Senators are Jeff Flake, R, and John Kyle, R. Kyle was appointed by Governor Ducey on September 5, 2018, to fill the spot formerly occupied by the late six-term senior Senator John McCain, who died August 25, 2018. Senator Kyle, who previously served as the state's junior senator from 1995 to 2013, will serve in office until a special election in 2020. As of the start of the 115th Congress, Arizona's representatives in the United States House of Representatives are Tom O'Halloran D1, Martha McSally R2, Raul Grijalva D3, Paul Gosar R4, Andy Biggs R5, David Schweikert R6, Ruben Gallego D7, Debbie Lesko R8, and Kirsten Cinema D9. Arizona gained a ninth seat in the House of Representatives due to redistricting based on census 2010. Topic. Political culture See also, Elections in Arizona, Political Party Strength in Arizona From statehood through the late 1940s, Arizona was primarily dominated by the Democratic Party. During this time period, the Democratic candidate for the presidency carried the state each election, with the only exceptions being the elections of 1920, 1924 and 1928 all three of which were national Republican landslides. 
In 1924, Congress had passed a law granting citizenship and suffrage to all Native Americans, some of whom had previously been excluded as members of tribes on reservations. Legal interpretations of Arizona's constitution prohibited Native Americans living on reservations from voting, classifying them as being under guardianship. This interpretation was overturned as being incorrect and unconstitutional in 1948 by the Arizona Supreme Court, following a suit by World War II Indian veterans Frank Harrison and Harry Austin, both of the Fort McDowell Yavapai Nation. The landmark case is Harrison and Austin v. Levine. After the men were refused the opportunity to register in Maricopa County, they filed suit against the registrar. The National Congress of American Indians, the Department of Justice, the Department of the Interior, and the American Civil Liberties Union all filed amicus curiae friends of the court briefs in the case. The state Supreme Court established the rights of Native Americans to vote in the state, at the time, they comprised about 11% of the population. That year, a similar provision was overturned in New Mexico when challenged by another Indian veteran in court. These were the only two states that had continued to prohibit Native Americans from voting. Since the election of Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1952, the majority of state voters have favored Republicans in presidential elections. Arizona voted Republican in every presidential election from 1952 to 1992, with Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan winning the state by particularly large margins. During this 40 year span, it was the only state not to be carried by a Democrat at least once. Democrat Lyndon Johnson, in 1964, lost the state by less than 5,000 votes to Arizona Senator and native Barry Goldwater. This was the most closely contested state in what was otherwise a landslide victory for Johnson that year. Democrat Bill Clinton ended this streak in 1996, when he won Arizona by a little over two percentage points. Clinton had previously come within less than 2% of winning Arizona's electoral votes in 1992. Since then, the majority of the state has continued to support Republican presidential candidates by solid margins. Since the late 20th century, the Republican Party has also dominated Arizona politics in general. The fast-growing Phoenix and Tucson suburbs became increasingly friendly to Republicans from the 1950s onward. During this time, many Pinto Democrats or conservative Democrats from rural areas, became increasingly willing to support Republicans at the state and national level. While the state normally supports Republicans at the federal level, Democrats are often competitive in statewide elections. Two of the last five governors have been Democrats. On March 4, 2008, Senator John McCain effectively clinched the Republican nomination for 2008, becoming the first presidential nominee from the state since Barry Goldwater in 1964. Arizona politics are dominated by a long-standing rivalry between its two largest counties, Maricopa and Pima—home to Phoenix and Tucson, respectively. The two counties have almost 75% of the state's population and cast almost 80% of the state's vote. They also elect a substantial majority of the state legislature. Maricopa County is home to almost 60% of the state's population, and most of the state's elected officials live there. It has voted Republican in every presidential election since 1948. This includes the 1964 run of native son Barry Goldwater. He would not have carried his home state without his 20,000 vote margin in Maricopa County. Similarly, while McCain won Arizona by 8 percentage points in 2008, aided by his 130,000 vote margin in Maricopa County. In contrast, Pima County, home to Tucson, and most of southern Arizona have historically voted more Democratic. While Tucson's suburbs lean Republican, they hold to a somewhat more moderate brand of Republicanism than is common in the Phoenix area. Arizona rejected a same-sex marriage ban in a referendum as part of the 2006 elections. Arizona was the first state in the nation to do so. Same-sex marriage was not recognized in Arizona, but this amendment would have denied any legal or financial benefits to unmarried homosexual or heterosexual couples. In 2008, Arizona voters passed Proposition 102, an amendment to the state constitution to define marriage as a union of one man and one woman. It passed by a more narrow majority than similar votes in a number of other states. In 2010, Arizona passed SB 1070, called the toughest illegal immigration legislation in the nation. 
A fierce debate erupted between supporters and detractors of the law. The United States Supreme Court heard arguments March 18, 2013, regarding the validity of the Arizona law, which requires individuals to show documents proving U.S. citizenship in order to register to vote in national elections. Same-sex marriage and civil unions In 2006, Arizona became the first state in the United States to reject a proposition, Prop 107, that would have banned same-sex marriage and civil unions. However, in 2008, Arizona voters approved of Prop 102, a constitutional ban on same-sex marriage. Prior to same-sex marriage being legal, the city of Bisbee became the first jurisdiction in Arizona to approve of civil unions. The state's attorney general at the time, Tom Horn, threatened to sue, but rescinded the threat once Bisbee amended the ordinance. Bisbee approved of civil unions in 2013. The municipalities of Clarkdale, Cottonwood, Jerome, Sedona, and Tucson also passed civil unions. A November 2011 public policy polling survey found that 44% of Arizona voters supported the legalization of same sex marriage, while 45% opposed it and 12% were not sure. A separate question on the same survey found that 72% of respondents supported legal recognition of same-sex couples, with 40% supporting same-sex marriage, 32% supporting civil unions, 27% opposing all legal recognition and 1% not sure. Arizona Proposition 102, known by its supporters as the Marriage Protection Amendment, appeared as a legislatively referred constitutional amendment on the November 4, 2008 ballot in Arizona, where it was approved, 56.2% to 43%. It amended the Arizona Constitution to define marriage as between one man and one woman. On October 17, 2014, Arizona Attorney General Tom Horn announced that his office would no longer object to same sex marriage, in response to a U.S. District Court ruling on Arizona Proposition 102. On that day, each county's clerk of the Superior Court began to issue same-sex marriage licenses, and Arizona became the 31st state to legalize same-sex marriage. <inaudible> <inaudible> Education Elementary and secondary education Public schools in Arizona are separated into about 220 local school districts which operate independently, but are governed in most cases by elected county school superintendents. These are in turn overseen by the Arizona State Board of Education, a division of the Arizona Department of Education, and the State Superintendent of Public Instruction, elected in partisan elections every even-numbered year when there is not a presidential election for a four-year term. In 2005, a school district redistricting commission was established with the goal of combining and consolidating many of these districts. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Higher Education. Arizona is served by 3 public universities: the University of Arizona, Arizona State University, and Northern Arizona University. These schools are governed by the Arizona Board of Regents. Private higher education in Arizona is dominated by a large number of for-profit and chain multi-site universities. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Prescott and Prescott College are Arizona's only non-profit four-year private colleges. Arizona has a wide network of two-year vocational schools and community colleges. These colleges were governed historically by a separate statewide board of directors but, in 2002, the state legislature transferred almost all oversight authority to individual community college districts. The Maricopa County Community College District includes 11 community colleges throughout Maricopa County and is one of the largest in the nation. Topic public universities in Arizona Arizona State University, Sun Devils, Tempe, Phoenix, Mesa, Glendale, Lake Havasu Northern Arizona University, Lumberjacks Flagstaff, Yuma, Prescott University of Arizona, Wildcats Tucson, Sierra Vista, MD College in downtown Phoenix and UA Agricultural Center in Yuma, Maricopa Topic Private colleges and universities in Arizona Topic Community colleges Topic Art and culture Topic Visual arts and museums Phoenix Art Museum, located on the historic Central Avenue Corridor in Phoenix, is the Southwest's largest collection of visual art from across the world. The museum displays international exhibitions alongside the museum's collection of more than 18,000 works of American, Asian, European, Latin American, Western American, modern and contemporary art, and fashion design. 
With a community education mandate since 1951, Phoenix Art Museum holds a year-round program of festivals, live performances, independent art films and educational programs. The museum also has Fort Kids, an interactive space for children, photography exhibitions through the museum's partnership with the Center for Creative Photography, the landscaped sculpture garden and dining at Arcadia Farms. Arizona is a recognized center of Native American art, with a number of galleries showcasing historical and contemporary works. The Heard Museum, also located in Phoenix, is a major repository of Native American art. Some of the signature exhibits include a full Navajo Hogan, the Marine Allen Nichols collection containing 260 pieces of contemporary jewelry, the Barry Goldwater collection of 437 historic Hopi Kachina dolls, and an exhibit on the 19th century boarding school experiences of Native Americans. The Heard Museum has about 250,000 visitors a year. Sedona, Jerome, and Tubac are known as a budding artist colonies, and small arts scenes exist in the larger cities and near the state universities. Topic films Several major Hollywood films, such as Billy Jack, U-Turn, Waiting to Exhale, Just One of the Guys, Can't Buy Me Love, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, The Scorpion King, The Banger Sisters, Used Cars, and Raising Arizona have been made there, as have many westerns. The 1993 science fiction movie Fire in the Sky, based on a reported alien abduction in the town of Snowflake, was set in Snowflake. It was filmed in the Oregon towns of Oakland, Roseburg, and Sutherland. The 1974 film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, for which Ellen Burstyn won the Academy Award for Best Actress, and also starring Chris Christopherson, was set in Tucson. The climax of the 1977 Clint Eastwood film The Gauntlet takes place in downtown Phoenix. The final segments of the 1984 film Starman take place at Meteor Crater outside Winslow. The Jeff Foxworthy comedy documentary movie Blue Collar Comedy Tour was filmed almost entirely at the Dodge Theater. Some of Alfred Hitchcock's classic film Psycho was shot in Phoenix, the ostensible hometown of the main character. Some of the television shows filmed or set in Arizona include The New Dick Van Dyke Show, Medium, Alice, The First 48, Insomniac with Dave Attell, Cops, and America's Most Wanted. The TV sitcom Alice, which was based on the movie was set in Phoenix. Twilight had passages set in Phoenix at the beginning and the end of the film. Topic. Music Arizona is prominently featured in the lyrics of many country and western songs, such as Jamie O'Neill's hit ballad, There Is No Arizona, George Strait's Oceanfront Property, uses Oceanfront Property in Arizona as a metaphor for a sucker proposition. The line, See You Down in Arizona Bay, is used in a Tool song in reference to the possibility expressed as a hope by comedian Bill Hicks that Southern California will one day fall into the ocean. Glenn Campbell, a notable resident, popularized the song, By the Time I Get to Phoenix. Arizona was the title of a popular song recorded by Mark Lindsay. Arizona is mentioned by the hit song, Take It Easy, written by Jackson Brown and Glenn Frey and performed by the Eagles. Arizona is also mentioned in the Beatles song, Get Back, credited to John Lennon and Paul McCartney. McCartney sings, Jojo left his home in Tucson, Arizona, for some California grass. Carefree Highway, released in 1974 by Gordon Lightfoot, takes its name from Arizona State Route 74 north of Phoenix. Arizona's budding music scene is helped by emerging bands, as well as some well-known artists. The Gin Blossoms, Chronic Future, Roger Klein and the Peacemakers, Jimmy Eat World, Caroline Spine, and others began their careers in Arizona. Also, a number of punk and rock bands got their start in Arizona, including JFA, The Feeders, Sun City Girls, The Meat Puppets, The Main, The Summer Set, and more recently Authority Zero and Digital Summer. Arizona also has many singers and other musicians. Singer, songwriter and guitarist Michelle Branch is from Sedona. The late Chester Bennington, the former lead vocalist of Linkin Park, and mash-up artist DJ Z Trip are both from Phoenix. One of Arizona's better-known musicians is shock rocker Alice Cooper, who helped define the genre. Maynard James Keenan, the lead singer of the band's Tool, A Perfect Circle, and Pucifer, calls the town of Cornville his current home. 
Other notable singers include country singers Dirks Bentley and Marty Robbins, folk singer Katie Lee, Fleetwood Max Stevie Nicks, Cece Peniston, Rex Allen, 2007 American Idol winner Jordan Sparks, and Linda Ronstadt. Arizona is also known for its heavy metal scene, which is centered in and around Phoenix. In the early to mid-1990s, it included bands such as Job for a Cowboy, Knights of the Abyss, Greeley Estates, Eyes Set to Kill, Bless the Fall, The Word Alive, The Dead Rabbits, and Abigail Williams. The band Soulfly calls Phoenix home and Megadeth lived in Phoenix for about a decade. Beginning in and around 2009, Phoenix began to host a burgeoning Desert rock and sludge metal underground, a la Caius in 1990s California led by bands like Wolves of Winter, Asimov and Dead Canyon. American composer Elliot Carter composed his first string quartet while on sabbatical from New York in Arizona. The quartet won a Pulitzer Prize and other awards and is now a staple of the string quartet repertoire. Sports. Professional sports teams in Arizona include The University of Phoenix Stadium hosted Super Bowl 42 on February 3, 2008, and Super Bowl 49 on February 1, 2015. Due to its numerous golf courses, Arizona is home to several stops on the PGA Tour, most notably the Phoenix Open, held at the TPC of Scottsdale, and the WGC Accenture Match Play Championship at the Ritz-Carlton Golf Club in Marana. Auto racing is another sport known in the state. Phoenix International Raceway in Avondale is home to NASCAR race weekends twice a year. Firebird International Raceway near Chandler is home to drag racing and other motorsport events. Topic. College sports College sports are also prevalent in Arizona. The Arizona State Sun Devils and the Arizona Wildcats belong to the Pac-12 Conference while the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks compete in the Big Sky Conference and the Grand Canyon Antelopes compete for in the Western Athletic Conference. The rivalry between Arizona State Sun Devils and the Arizona Wildcats predates Arizona's statehood, and is the oldest rivalry in the NCAA. The Territorial Cup, first awarded in 1889 and certified as the oldest trophy in college football, is awarded to the winner of the annual football game between the two schools. Arizona also hosts several college football bowl games. The Fiesta Bowl, originally held at Sun Devil Stadium, is now held at University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale. The Fiesta Bowl is part of the new college football playoff CFP. University of Phoenix Stadium was also home to the 2007 and 2011 BCS National Championship Games. Topic. Baseball Arizona is a popular location for Major League Baseball spring training, as it is the site of the Cactus League. Spring training was first started in Arizona in 1947, when Brewers owner Veek sold them in 1945 but went on to purchase the Cleveland Indians in 1946. He decided to train the Cleveland Indians in Tucson and convinced the New York Giants to give Phoenix a try. Thus the Cactus League was born. On March 9, 1995, Arizona was awarded a franchise to begin play for the 1998 season. A $130 million franchise fee was paid to Major League Baseball and on January 16, 1997, the Diamondbacks were officially voted into the National League. Since their debut, the Diamondbacks have won five National League West titles, one National League Championship pennant, and the 2001 World Series. Topic. Miscellaneous topics topic. Notable people Some notable Arizonans involved in politics and government include Former Arizona Governor Jan Brewer Former Surgeon General of the United States Richard Carmona Former United States Secretary of Transportation Mary Peters Former Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor Former Supreme Court Chief Justice William Rehnquist Former U.S. Senator Dennis DeConcina Former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Urpeo Former Graham County Sheriff Richard Mack National Education Association President Dennis Van Rokel Junior Republican Senator John Kyle, former Senate Minority Whip 
Presidential Candidate 2000, 2008, and former U.S. Senator John McCain Presidential Candidate 1964, and former U.S. Senator Barry Goldwater Former Governor, Secretary of the Interior, and Presidential Candidate 1988, Bruce Babbitt Presidential Candidate 1976, and former Arizona Congressman Mo Udall and his brother Secretary of the Interior Stuart Udall Former U.S. Senator Carl Hayden Former United States Solicitor General Rex E. Lee. Former Governor and Secretary of Homeland Security in the Obama administration Janet Napolitano Former State Senator Jack Taylor also served as Mayor of Mesa and was for one two-year term a member of the Arizona House of Representatives. Arizona notables in culture and the arts include Labor leader and civil rights pioneer Cesar Estrada Chavez was from San Luis, near Yuma Actress Emma Stone is from Scottsdale Actress Gail Edwards resides in Sedona Author Zane Gray Architect Frank Lloyd Wright Disc Sports Frisbee Pioneer Ken Westerfield currently lives in Bisbee Film director Steven Spielberg was raised in Phoenix and attended Arcadia High School Actor David Spade was raised in Scottsdale and graduated from Arizona State University Actress Linda Carter, star of Wonder Woman, is from Phoenix and attended Arizona State University Horse owner and trainer Bob Baffert Musicians Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park Phoenix, Alice Cooper Phoenix, Stevie Nicks of Fleetwood Mac Phoenix, Jerome, Linda Ronstadt Tucson, Michelle Branch Sedona, Nate Roos of Fun, Glendale Musicians in the bands Meet Puppets Phoenix, Tempe, Authority Zero Mesa, Gin Blossoms Tempe, Chronic Future Scottsdale, Jimmy Eat World Mesa, The Format Glendale, Stellar Cart Phoenix, Malignus Youth Sierra Vista, and Job for a Cowboy Glendale. Poet Jim Simmerman of Flagstaff Frederick Summer, an artist, photographer, moved to Tucson in 1931 and lived in Prescott from 1935 to 1999. Rancher and political insider John G. F. Spiden, J6 Ranch author Diana Gabaldon mostly known for Outlander was born in and resides in Arizona Musician Zella Day is originally from Pinetop, Arizona Topic State symbols Arizona State Amphibian, Arizona Tree Frog Hyla Eximia, Arizona State Bird, Cactus Wren Campylorhynchus brunicapalus, Arizona State Butterfly, Two-tailed Swallowtail Papilio Multicadata, Arizona State Colors, Federal Blue and Old Gold Arizona State Dinosaur, Sonorosaurus Arizona State Fish, a Apache Trout Apache, Arizona State Flag, Flag of the State of Arizona Arizona State Flower, Saguaro Blossom Carnegia Gigantea, Arizona State Fossil, Petrified Wood Arizona State Gemstone, Turquoise Arizona State Mammal, Ring-tailed Cat Basariscus Astutus Arizona State Motto, Detat Deus Latin God and Riches Arizona State Neckwear, Bolo Thai Arizona State Reptile, Arizona Ridge-nosed Rattlesnake Crotalus Willardi Arizona State Seal, Great Seal of the State of Arizona Arizona State Slogan, Grand Canyon State Arizona State Songs, Arizona March Song by Margaret Rowe Clifford and Arizona by Rex Allen Jr. Arizona State Tree, Palo Verde Parkinsonia Arizona State Gun, Colt Single Action Army Revolver Topic See also Arizona Portal Outline of Arizona, Organized List of Topics about Arizona Index of Arizona Related Articles Topic Notes Topic References Topic Further reading Bayless, Betsy, 1998, Arizona Blue Book, 1997–1998. Phoenix, Arizona. McIntyre, Alan J., 2008, The Tohono O'odham and Pomeria Alta. Arcadia Publishing, Charleston, South Carolina, ISBN 978-0-7385-5633-8. Miller, Tom, Editor, 1986, Arizona, The Land and the People. University of Arizona Press, Tucson, ISBN 978-0-8165-1004-7. Officer, James E., 1987, Hispanic Arizona, 1536-1856. University of Arizona Press, Tucson, ISBN 978-0-8165-0981-2. Thomas, David M. Editor, 2003, Arizona Legislative Manual. In Arizona Phoenix, Arizona, Arizona Legislative Council. Google Print. Retrieved January 16, 2006. Trimble, Marshall, 1998 Arizona, A Cavalcade of History. 
Treasure Chest Publications, Tucson, Arizona, ISBN 978-0-918080-43-1. Woosley, Ann I., 2008, Early Tucson. Arcadia Publishing, Charleston, South Carolina, ISBN 978-0-7385-5646-8. External links Official State Government Website Official Website of the State of Arizona Other Reference Links Arizona State Guide, from the Library of Congress Arizona Regional Accounts Data at the Wayback Machine archived August 19, 2002, Arizona Demographic Data from FedStats Arizona USDA State Fact Sheet Arizona Indicators, State's Central Resource for Information on a Wide Range of Topics Energy Data and Statistics for Arizona Arizona State Databases, Annotated List of Searchable Databases Produced by Arizona State Agencies and Compiled by the Government Documents Roundtable of the American Library Association. Arizona State Library, Archives and Public Records Arizona at Ballotpedia Arizona at Curly Geographic Data Related to Arizona at OpenStreetMap Tourism Information Links Official Arizona Office of Tourism Arizona Game and Fish Department Hunting, Boating and Fishing Arizona State Parks American Southwest, a National Park Service Discover Our Shared Heritage Travel Itinerary Arizona at Curly.